day welcome or welcome back to another vlog so it's friday so probably be kind of like a spend the day with me if you will we are headed to pick Caden up from school we have not been doing anything all day today's my off day um i cleaned around the house a little bit nothing too crazy or major there wasn't much going on i still have like laundry stuff that i need to do um, but I really wanted to dig into that after I picked Kaden up from school because I hate getting deep in the laundry and then having to stop because that's what prevents me from doing things like folding it up and things like yeah, that. So that's what ends up preventing me from properly like doing the laundry because I get distracted. So, um, but before we get back home, we have a couple of errands to run. Nobody, I was watching Instagram and I was looking at Lavishly Jackie's channel, Jackie Ina's like lifestyle uh, Instagram. And she was using this um, body polish by TPH. Taraji P. Henson. Y'all, I know this um, car seat looks like it's weird in here. It's really not. It's like the angle. It's like... Anyways. Um, but I heard that Taraji P. Henson has a body care line. And apparently it's exclusively at Walmart. So, Kaden and I are going to grab Starbucks. Go to Walmart on my wild goose chase to find said products <laughs> and um we're also probably gonna stop at the dollar tree and kroger since there's both over there um yeah i just i don't know i need to find that like the she was using the body polish and that's what intrigued me because y'all know i am all about a body scrub that is in a tube and that's what got me and from that point i kept going what is tph what is tp i've never heard of it and when i finally like googled it that's what it was and i was like oh i gotta get that and the products aren't like crazy expensive to my knowledge so we're just gonna run to walmart and see if we can find them after we get starbucks because i've only had my morning coffee and I'm running on no steam you know what i'm saying um so i figure let's get a little starbucks my um it's funny because my fetch reward came in today this morning so perfect timing um kaden said he wanted to try a fall drink anyway so we'll do that i am pulling up to his school now though so i will get back with you guys So we are getting ready to grab Starbucks. Um, I'm gonna switch up my Frappuccino for the first time in like your life. <laughs> Kaden is going to sprinkles. Right, Kaden is actually going to be getting the um, Frappuccino, but with like an apple. With apple crisp. Yeah, apple 
like swirl through it. I don't know if I'm gonna have the oat milk macchiato thing they're talking about. Mama, yes, Cameron. Did you just say oatmeal? I said oat milk. Okay, I was about to say oatmeal. What, Cameron? Um, you can't get a macchiato yet. When you're like six, you can. You might be able to get a frappuccino. It's just funny to hear all babies say like coffee stuff names. Can. Can. Frappuccino. Let me order this food, y'all. Turn this air off because it's not even hot outside. Like, it's just been a day like honestly y'all it's been a week so i went in the office yesterday yeah. for the first time it's been about a month because we or two because we had a in office meeting i say it was a month ago but this was more like um i told y'all i work in technology there's a lot of tech stuff dropping now and so yeah um the whole iphone lineup the watches the this the that um so it was cool we learned a lot about the behind the scenes on that but it's just been a busy work week for me so i my plan is to go home and watch stranger things and chill out yeah so let me order our drinks and stuff and then i will hit you guys when we get in the store or when we get back home candle jackpot okay yeah, we i went candles. we got lots of candles candles for me candles for my mom um i'm just using the dior lip glow oil right now but i have so many candles that i have to so share good. with y'all and then um i got the taraji p hints and stuff so i'm gonna share that with you guys i have some other stuff that i've ordered like skincare and stuff so i'm gonna just share all that when we get in the house all right y'all so we are home we've actually been home for a couple hours now i got everything kind of like pulled out and situated so i can share it with you guys like i told y'all before i have picked up some things during the ulta 21 days of beauty so i'm gonna share that with y'all i picked up an item from nordstrom a week or so ago because it was on sale and something from necessary because it was like limited stock and i really wanted to try it. nordstrom has been running like a 60 percent off sale and i was in their beauty like category last was it last week? The week before last. And they had this little set from Origins that was a great value. Original value was $80. It was uh, priced at $54 and then it went on sale for $27. You get a one ounce cleanser, a full size of their brightening serum, a one ounce of their moisturizer, and their eye cream, which is, these are both almost full sizes. I know this is a full size. So I thought that was a great deal for $27. Checks and balances uh, facial wash, which I love. I used to use that in the years past. Um, it comes with the brightening serum, and then it comes with the moisturizer and an eye cream. So thought that was a great value. So I picked that up and it came in last week in the ulta 21 days of beauty the first day 
they had the L'Occitane Ultra Rich Body Cream on sale. Original price point $49. It was $24.50 in the sale. Y'all know I have raved about, about this since the top of the year. It's been my favorite and I've got about a quarter left. So it was definitely a great time to restock. Um, in the reviews, they say the formulation of this has changed. We'll see. I'll keep y'all posted and let y'all know. They also, I needed a nighttime moisturizer. When I was thinking about my skincare routine, I noticed I just didn't have anything specifically for the evening when it came to a moisturizer. So they had this Hope in a Jar by Philosophy Skin Restoration, I'm sorry, Skin Resurrection Overnight Power Hydrator. I felt like it's a great value. It was $20. Original price point was $40. And you get 2.5 fluid ounces. I did read through the reviews on Ulta and Sephora. And they were both really, really good. So I decided to pick it up while in the sale. They also had the uh, Monsoor Big Mascara. Y'all know the Lancome Monsoor Big has been my favorite for years. Thank God for my girl Keiko. She mentioned this years back. I got on it and I was hooked. It's very similar. If you like the La Volume de Chanel, you're going to love this because it's everything that that is without the dryness. I loved that mascara when I used it, but it was so dry. This gives me the same results and it lasts longer and it is just better. I like it. So it was $13.50 in the sale, so I picked it up. Then they had this Elemis dynamic resurfacing facial wash now this is a skin smoothing cleanser original price point was 56 dollars. it was in the sale for 26 i got this because at night i luxuriate my skin a lot like during the day my skincare routine as y'all have seen in my am skincare routine very kind of like basic and minimal but at night i go the extra mile and i also notice that in the evening i don't have that good like cleanser you know something a little more luxurious and so i've been hearing great things about elements i also heard great things about this cleanser so when it went on sale I picked it up because $56 is not up my alley, okay? But $26 is, so I picked that up. Then, Necessaire, I don't know if they discontinued their, like, cream deodorant or whatever, but it came back in stock for, like, two days. I went ahead and picked it up because my girl Keiko Beauty said she did, like, a video where she compared the two because I do have, I'm wearing it today, the um, roll-on one. And she compared the two and she said that she liked this one a little bit better simply because of like formulation. But when we all went to click the link, it was sold out. So when I saw that it came back in stock, I said it would be the perfect time. Necessaire is the only um, clean deodorant that I have used, like aluminum free natural deodorant that I have ever used that actually worked for me. So... I didn't have a problem picking this up. It was $20. I got the scent sandalwood. I will say the scent is very overpowering, but we're going to see how it performs. So I did pick that up. Thought it'd just be nice for fall. Um, something that's scented because the roll-on one I got is non-scented. All right, let me share the stuff I picked up at the Dollar Tree with y'all. Y'all, they had some stuff. So first things first, they had these loofahs. And I need to re-up on my loofahs and my exfoliating towels. I didn't find any today, but when I go shopping tomorrow or the next week or whatever, it's on my radar. But for the fall and the winter, it's time to change everything up. I change these like every month, so I always buy them in bulk. So when you can get a good brand, this is the Clean Logic brand. These are the men's kind. I like the men's loofahs over the women's loofahs because they tend to be thicker. I always pick them up. This is like a five or six dollar loofah, y'all. I think when I looked up their website, it was seven. It's the high performance mesh sponge. I got two, whoops, I got two of them in gray. I'll show y'all the other ones in the other bag, but I ended up getting four of them. Four of them. <laughs> um, oh, then I found this. Look at this, y'all. It's by Brookstone. It's a scissor and nail clipper two-piece set. It's by Brookstone and it was in the Dollar Tree. I picked it up because I'm probably going to throw it in Clarence's stocking for Christmas. I'm just going to throw it in top of the closet and I'll throw it in his stocking. But for $1.25, I had to pick that up. Then they had this 
I Googled it while I was in the store. It's $19.99, but it's by Salor. Never heard of the brand, but it's aloe vera. It's pure cold press aloe extract from hand-picked aloe vera plants. Y'all, I figure it could be used as a moisturizer. I used to use just straight up aloe vera gel on my face. Um, so I know the benefits of it and how clear it will make your skin. And when I Googled it and it was $19.99, I said for $1.25, we sure gonna give it a try. Um, I believe a Whole Foods type store sells it as well for the same $19.99. So um, pick that up. Then they had these socks, y'all. They're these like Hanes premium socks. You get two of them, but they're so soft. In the fall and winter, in my jammies, I wear stuff like this. And quality-wise, they're really good quality. Original price point was $17.99 on these. So love. So I picked those up for $1.25. Y'all, this is my favorite stuff. If you go to the Dollar Tree and you see this, please pick it up. It is by Vaseline Intensive Care. It's their all-purpose cream. I get dry hands and dry feet. Baby, listen to me, okay? It, and I ain't shame. I ain't shame. But I do get dry hands and dry feet. This slather all over your feet every night after you take your shower. Your feet are super silky soft in the morning. I don't know what they put in this, but it is everything y'all so every time i see one in the dollar tree i pick it up they had this shoe eraser i picked this up i see these in like foot locker and stuff all the time it was a dollar 25 cent i need to clean all my white shoes and stuff anyway so got that picked up a new toothbrush because it was a firm one it's by dental guru the clinical plus brand or whatever i just like firm toothbrushes and then y'all i found this mossy oak t-shirt in the dollar tree y'all for a dollar and 25 cent so i picked it up because when i google i google everything while i'm in there the kids hate me because they'd be like mom can we go um it was 19.99 at dick sports so i picked it up fall winter's coming some leggings around the house it'll be cute girl and then i also picked up like i said two more of those loofahs i picked up three more of my favorite windex multi-purpose cleanser i think that's it for the stuff i got from dollar tree now i went to walmart let me show y'all these candles real quick i got two of these better home and gardens lavender lattes candles they were supposed to be clearance to 878 when i rang them up they were 499 and i got two for my mama too they had another lavender and lattes. This one was supposed to be $10.41, but when it rang up, it was like $3.48. This is a Mainstays Caribbean Orange. It was supposed to be $9.87, clearance to $8.32, and rang up for $3.26. So we got it. Ooh, it smells great. I got one for my mom, too. Um, Mainstays Sugar Berries. I don't know how much one this one was supposed to be, but I remember it ringing up for $3 and some change. Then they had the Woodwick Trilogy candle in Melon Blossom, Coastal Sunset, and Palo Santo. Supposed to be $17.87, marked down to $12.51, and then it rang up for $4.26. Then they had... This honeysuckle and mint. This is by Better Homes and Gardens. It said 10 something on here, but rang up for $5.50. Mm, so I got it. And they had all of these candles for they're the mainstay blue agave, agave nectar, blue locust, and oat moss candles, seven ounce candles. They were supposed to be mark 322, marked down to 251 and rang up 81 cents i got a total of 12 six for me and six for my mom and now to the good stuff so i got a bunch of stuff from the taraji b Henson line um sorry y'all i know i'm looking frazzled i'm a mom it's friday i've been all over the place i found the scrub that i went looking for this is the body by tph baby buffed and exfoliating body polish with lactic acid in the scent vanilla and tuberose girl 
I'm so happy to support her. This smells like us, okay? When you smell it, you gonna know what I mean. It just smelled like us. So when I got this, I was so excited. It was $11.97. Then she has this body wash. It's called Good Days, an energizing gel body cleanser, mandarin plus ginger body wash. So it smells really nice. It smells refreshing. So I'm gonna try all this tonight, y'all. So I did pick up the body cleanser. It was $8.97. And then this is what I am excited about. I cannot wait to try this tonight. It's the, the Ish Condish, a moisturizing in shower skin conditioner in that same mandarin and ginger scent. I can't smell it because it does have like this seal, but so excited to try this. I am so excited to try this. Can't wait to tell y'all about it. Then I got the Watch Me Whip, a hard working whipped body cream with niacinamide and the vanilla and tuberose scent as well. Y'all, Cam is over there playing. So I'm gonna try all these tonight, y'all. I'm excited about this TPH. It's crazy that I went to get this and I got all this other stuff. Also picked up these at the Dollar Tree. They had these like, I don't know, they look like this. With, the, with these glass jars. I'm gonna do some pantry reorganizing. So I got this size, this size. So that's it. So yeah, y'all, I went on a just an adventure today. Cam and his truck. Um, I'm glad to bring y'all along with me. I hope y'all had a good time. If you have questions about anything, please just ask me. Um, yeah, but that's all I had. I hope you guys had a good time. As always, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, don't forget get to hit the subscription button. Girl, I'm stressed. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.